forward, and then back. Forward and back. Good morning, welcome to the channel. It's forward and back, and I'm on the V13, rolling again. Back on um, my comfortable wheel. It is actually the wheel that I feel most comfortable on at the moment. Just the weight, it feels really good every time I step back on it. I've been rolling on a couple of other wheels and just went on up to the shops on the V11 and that was still amazing, it still feels great. It's, it's like a, a totally different wheel now that I'm stepping off this and back onto that. But yeah, I think I've really gotten used to the weight of this and you know, I can flick it a lot and hold it steady. My feet are still feeling it, like it is still a workout, but I enjoy the workout and I look forward to it. I look forward to every roll. So this is, um, this is where we are today, just doing a quick city run. And I had the option for the car, but I think I'm a bit like a, a dog that wants to go for a walk. Any opportunity I get, I'm wagging my tail, looking at my wheel, checking in. We're about 1,200 kilometers on this wheel now. And it's um, still feeling great. I haven't had to change anything or do any work. No noises, nothing popped up unexpected. I've put it through some rain and moisture. No troubles, powering up, no errors. Everything is bliss. Everything is bliss on this. I hope it is on yours. I know wheels can be temperamental. Okay, and we're out on a wet and rainy day. I guess putting the wheel through the wet and rainy test and the camera and myself. I didn't expect to get wet, I just came out to do a couple of quick speed runs. But um, yeah, the weather's turned and now I don't really want to go too fast. And I'm caught in it. So I, th I thought I'd run the cameras and we'd just do a bit of a waterproofing video. So I'm using the Insta One X3. I also just noticed that my touch screen was flicking around a little bit in the wet. It could be because I've still got the tempter stuck on. I still haven't removed that little plastic protector. I've also added some tape. Really professional job, but I just wanted to help keep that water out of the display. I saw some people had troubles with that. And then you just also want to make sure all of your charge ports are closed up on your wheel. First of all, make sure that your wheel can handle the rating. And this does have an IP rating. And I guess we're going to find out. The only problems that some people have had is just a slight little bit of moisture that get, got into the display panel. Some have reported that and we'll see, we'll see, you know. So maybe taking a little bit of a measure there to waterproof that with some tape is a good option if you're concerned. I'm trying not to really be caught in the rain, but you know, to have the confidence that I can get home, just like today, you're out for a roll and then the weather comes on in. It's really nice to not get stuck and not have to sit and wait, just to be able to still hop on the wheel and roll. And when I get at home, I'll just give it a quick wipe down and I won't charge it straight away. I'll let it fully dry off. You just don't want any moisture to get into the charge ports. This, this tire still got heaps of confidence in this tire, especially in the wet. Still plenty grippy, but you need to watch these little wiggly lines here and also white paint, slippy rocks, loose mud, and your leaf litter when you're rolling in the wet. I've tilted the pedals forward again, just felt the need and it's feeling good. So I've, I've really started to adjust my settings. I turned off my acceleration assist, it was on 100% and I went for a roll and then I turned it all the way off. Such a difference. I found the combination for me is to really knock the pedal hardness back to about 50% and then I've adjusted my acceleration assist from there. So I've still got a little bit of a softer pedal feel but I really didn't want that tilty kind of floatness. I just wanted the pedals to feel a bit softer. It's really important to play with your settings. You're not gonna hurt the wheel at all, but it, it gives you such a range. 
I find when I really go from using your pedal assists and then removing them, that's a really good way to just get a feel for what they're doing. So perhaps you could try doing that and just, you know, remove all your assists and just knock it back to zero, have a little roll, and you'll feel it's a totally different wheel than then dial them all the way up to 100%, your brake assist and your accelerator assist, and then go for a roll, and then turn everything back to zero again, and then change your pedal hardness and see how that feels. Because, you know, you need to kind of uh, single each one out and play with each setting to get a feel for what it does. So when you're using a acceleration assist, it's like the whole wheel tilts, but when you're using just a pedal softness, it's kind of like the pedal's slightly just feeling softer, and it's not even a real tilt, it just feels a little bit squishier, I guess. Seems like there's heaps of um, heaps going on here in the gardens today. There's a market, lots of people. Look at that, that's nice. If you were going to make a calendar, you'd probably put that in it. Oh, well, out along the river. This is Brisbane, what a nice day. It's nice to show you this still like that pedal height on this wheel, that, that extra clearance from the ground to be able to swing it and take the turns a little bit tighter. I've got the Liart armor underneath my jacket today. I've just gone a little bit casual, but it's still protected. Got the TSG wrist guards, Kevlar gloves, and I've just gone the TSG helmet because I'm not going to be pushing speeds. It's just a little commute video, and it still looks stylish. It's got all my affiliate stickers on it. Sometimes it's nice to just come and smell the flowers, take stock and um, have a slow roll around a garden. This is pretty. But yeah, after getting off the T4 and back onto this, the suspension still feels really good on this. I like it. It's, it feels different, but I guess each to their own, what you want. You know, because this isn't really, for me, it's not going to be a trail wheel. It's got all the suspension I want to eat this stuff up in, in comfort. So this smaller stuff, it's beautiful to just roll across the hills here. And people seem to just be crazy. It's like everybody's drunk today. I had a guy on a bike just overtake me on the left, not on a bike path, without saying anything. And I was just starting to turn into him as he did that crazy, crazy two-wheeled mentality. And then, yeah, other people are just crossing, you know, taking blind corners on their feet without even staying in their lane. Reckless walkers. So I'm moseying about the Botanic Gardens. This is the Brisbane City Botanic Gardens. I'm gonna go meet my family, play at the park for a little while. Don't think I'll film that. Just saw a one wheel and my kids are like, what's that? And I said, don't worry. Don't worry, it's horrible do wearing thongs on the one wheel yeah but yeah it's really crowded today so maybe I should just head home make this a ne nice little video it's rather scenic not much else to it but I had a really good morning heading into the park with the family and you know the best fun is I still get to roll home so you know that's a buzz for me to be able to still have an adventure left in the sleeve on the way home Thanks for watching. Hopefully something exciting happens on the way back. 
But um, yeah, forwards and back. Forwards and back. Man, I find this wheel so much more comfortable to sit down now. You know, the V11, I used to do it just sporadically. What a great word, sporadically is. Yeah, I'd be very sporadic when I sat down because it really, you had to bend and sort of squat a lot more and um, it just wasn't as comfortable. It was doable, just not comfortable. So anyway, now I've managed to get this wheel, which is a little higher. It's amazing. Yeah, just to sit down on, um, so comfortable. And yeah, I find that the cushion's amazing. It's just so comfortable. This wheel is so good. <laughs> it's so good. There's no false stoke in this. Every time I um, get on this wheel, it just is good. Good, and it's got more and more to give. I keep asking it for a little bit more. I guess as I get used to this wheel, I ask it for a little bit more each time I roll. Even without really noticing, you just ask for a little bit more because your muscles have built up. So that same effort you put in is a little bit more. And the wheel just gives and gives. It's, um, it's a really good wheel. <laughs> Can't say it enough. But you know, by now, I think a lot of the time when I've purchased something, there's a little bit of buyer's remorse that kicks in. You start to question why you spent, you know, $5,000 on a new toy. Not with this. Like, I actually haven't had one instance of thinking, wow, I wish I hadn't done that. It's really still just a joy. I'm wondering how many kilometers before that runs runs out that feeling but to be honest the v11 i still get that joy after 10,000 kilometers so that's all i can ask for isn't it anytime i'm rolling on my wheel i'm having heaps of fun but you know you do have a little bit less fun when you have to go so slow on a bigger wheel not much less fun i'm still really enjoying myself but um it is just a little bit harder to negotiate and you feel it in, in your legs a little bit more. I've got 60% battery left and I'm gonna head home, I think. Uh, enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Yeah, I've got two chargers on my wheel now, so it's really quick to charge up, running 14 amps. I think it's only a couple of hours to be full charged. What I wanted to do is just run the wheel down and then I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on how long it takes my wheel to get back up to full charge. But yeah, I've had a nice day. Sitting, uh, sitting down, rolling through the river. It's been a good ad for EUCs. There's a lot of people out and about, so a lot of people watching me and a lot of reactions. So I hope you're having a good time, whatever you're up to in your life. Um, have a good day out there. Yeah, enjoy your adventures. So I'm gonna roll on home and um, yeah, have some fun editing another video and catching up on the forums and chatting to you all. I'll see you next time for another video really soon. And uh, I'll keep the cameras running on the way home in case anything exciting happens. I'll see you next time for another video. Bye for now.